one is Nishti here, a specialist dietitian for children and parents. Ear infections in children with suspected cow's milk allergy. Let's talk about that. I have already done a few videos about it in the past. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do this video is because we've been working with a two and a half year old boy who struggled with ear infections for most of his life, really. But particularly here in Tuttlerhood, he's also constipated and he is uh, not a, a great eater. So that's the reason why that mom wanted to work with us. And he also struggles with reflux. So... She didn't want to work with us because of the recurrent ear infections, because you wouldn't necessarily associate that with a dietitian, right? But the constipation and the reflux is something that we've helped with. So first of all, the evidence to support that cow's milk causes ear infections, there isn't great evidence to support it. So we cannot say for sure this is what happens. There is some evidence to support, though, that in children with cow's milk allergy, um, there is also a, a high likelihood of them developing ear, recurrent ear infections. And that's because, in general, they are just more susceptible to, ear, to infections, not just ear infections. So this boy that we've been working with, he from early childhood, he's been struggling with colic. He was unsettled. He was also very congested and he had a nappy rash. He didn't have a rash. He didn't have any eczema. He didn't have any blood in his poo, which are symptoms often associated with an, an allergy with cat to cow's milk. However, he had like mildish symptoms. Now, mom had changed his formula so many times because well, she went to the doctor and the doctor did their best, but no one picked up that it was an allergy, perhaps an allergy to cow's milk. I suspect that he had a mild allergy to cow's milk, but this wasn't picked up on. And now at the age of two and a half, constipation, reflux and constant ear infections. Well, what we did was I said to mom, because the child's diet was great, it was limited, but it was still okay. It wasn't like the worst diet I've ever seen. What we did first, and that's actually because of the, he has constipation and then the reflux. I thought, you know what, let's try a dairy-free diet based on his symptoms from infancy as well. Because as an infant, he struggled a lot. And I thought, you know what, let's go dairy-free. We went dairy-free for two weeks. Symptoms resolved. I mean... Sometimes I'm just baffled with how easy it can be. This is not the case for every child, but sometimes it's just as straightforward as that. Now we are six, seven weeks in and he hasn't had any ear infections. It's still early days, but I suspect that he's going to be okay. And hopefully so. But his constipation has resolved. His reflux has resolved because obviously when we are constipated, our reflux worsen anyway. So... If a child has multiple things going on and if they struggled as a baby with their formula or maybe breast milk, because remember dairy can pass through mother to baby, could it be that this baby has an allergy to cow's milk? Remember that cow's milk allergy is very can be very common. It is something that affects children all over the world. It is the most common allergy in the world, by the way. And the symptoms can be mild and then can also be very severe. So when they're severe, it's usually picked up very quickly. But for those with mildish symptoms, not so much. So let me just share with you a study, a recent study here from 2022. I'll link it below as well. And it just talks about the clinical burden of cow's milk allergy in early childhood. And actually it talks about how so GI means gastrointestinal, so the bowel, the bowels or the stomach. Skin and respiratory and ear infection affected significantly more children with cow's milk allergy than those without cow's milk allergy. And you can see here the total number. So these infections often recurred more often among children with cow's milk allergy. 44% for ear infections. This is not, I think this is a, quite an interesting study. I only saw it this morning, actually. So if a child has ear infections and perhaps other systems in the body are affected. So for this boy that we've been working with, his bowel was affected, right? And his, 
his esophagus. <laughs> so um, it's not necessarily the respiratory system because his breathing was okay, but not as an infant. As an infant, he struggled with hay fever-like symptoms. I really think it, it, it came together by looking back at this child's history that he most probably had cow's milk allergy as an infant. It wasn't picked up upon. He's now a toddler and the discomfort continues, but in other forms. So if your child has an ear infection and any other body that's affected, any anything else, make sure you reach out to your healthcare professional. Don't just go dairy-free for... For, with no help and advice because your child needs enough calcium iodine that you also get from dairy products so make sure you work with a professional if you want a 15 minute chat with myself i offer 15 minute chat to our um to people who reach out to us from all over the world uh, and it is not obviously a full assessment but i can certainly guide you and tell you what i think may need to happen so if you want to book a, book that with us, then feel free to email us on info at nishjischoice.com. The details are below this video. I'll see you all in the next video.